Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are back for the final match in Group 2 of the first round of the MCW Champions Cup. And let me tell you, Man Mansky Championship Wrestling has really held up to its name with seven outstanding matches in the book. The last one maybe being the greatest match in MCW history with Volta. Getting by AJ Styles in a marathon of the match, but now we have another heck of a matchup for you. The NXT North American Champion, Keith Lee. A rising superstar, to say the least. That guy is on a rocket to the top. But he must face a man who knows all about being at the top. The WWE Hall of Famer, the Rated R Superstar. Man himself, Edge. Can he take out the up-and-coming Keith Lee? Let's find out. Oh, you better bask in his glory. And we have an unfortunate malfunction on Edge's theme music. And so instead of his wonderful theme song, we have some generic music, unfortunately. Kind of like Jake Hager. But that's the way it goes. Bottom line is Edge is back. This will be a heck of a matchup. Your referee, as always, is Darley Brewster, and we are underway. Immediate test of strength. It's probably not a great idea for Edge, as Keith Lee, an extremely, extremely powerful individual, will probably win that matchup every time. Edge is going to have to rely heavily on his veteran know-how, on his savvy, and on his speed. Although Keith Lee, again, is one of the most well-rounded, incredible athletes we've seen in wrestling in quite some time. Some ex exchanging blows there. Look at that, just a clubbing blow by Keith Lee. Nice takeover by Edge. And Edge is immediately went to the outside by Keith Lee. Wow. Just a bit of a message there to say you might be in the Hall of Fame Edge, but I am Keith Lee and you will bask in my glory. Nice straight uh, takedown there. Side suplex. Whipped into the turnbuckle. Edge fires back with a right hand. And there's a left hand by Keith Lee and another. Nice takedown there by Edge. So early on, no discernible. Look at the power. Oh my goodness, of Keith Lee just tossing the rated R superstar aside like he's nothing, but. Edge is not a multiple, multiple time world champion for nothing. Here's an exchange of fists, which is probably not going to go Edge's way, and indeed that is the case. Keith Lee, again, an extremely powerful individual. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with this man is not recommended, but Edge gets him in the headlock there, gets a couple of good shots in, and a straight elbow to the back of the head, which is more likely to make Keith Lee mad than anything, but wow, what a great suplex there by Edge. Not showing any ring rust at all, having been gone for so long after that neck fusion surgery and now remarkably being able to do what he loves again. And man, he has been thrown right into the fire here. It's a nice clothesline and a nice suplex on the North American champion by the Rated R Superstar. Still a real feeling out process here. It's a Quick elbow by Keith Lee. Nice uh, Russian leg sweep there. And Keith Lee again. Just what a power slam. Just, I mean, almost blatantly showing the power that he has to Edge. Edge really has his work cut out for him here. I mean, he's one of the best ever. But, man, Keith Lee is just a beast we have not seen before. Look at that. Oh, wow. Impaler DDT by Edge. Sometimes called the Edge-Ecution, but 
Keith Lee right back up and slams the rated R superstar to the outside. Edge is stunned, and Keith Lee just stands in the middle of the ring, just waiting for Edge to get back in, almost just staring a hole right through him. Man, this is some competitor in Keith Lee, let me tell you. Look at that flapjack by Keith Lee, dropping the elbow, really working over Edge here, and another nice Russian leg sweep by the uh, multiple time champion, and a spear! Wow, an early spear by Edge, caught Keith Lee not looking too. Oh my gosh, he almost got him. Edge almost pulled off an incredible, stunning, quick victory there on the North American champion. You never know when he's going to bust that out, and Edge being the veteran that he is, immediately went for the pin. But Keith Lee, just too powerful, almost able to just sneak out of there with a 2.9 count. Nice DDT by Edge. Hitting the eight minute mark now. And this has been a doozy so far. There's a just a vicious power bomb by Keith Lee. The power of this man is unbelievable and a solid clothesline by Edge. Again, going for the DDT, it looked like Keith Lee going to the top rope. It changes his mind apparently. But we've seen him fly from the top rope before and another execution. Impaler DDT two, and the North American champion kicks out, showing his endurance. Is oh wow, just a series of power bombs here. Three back to back power bombs. The strength of Keith Lee is scary. Nice hip toss takedown there. Not something you always see from the North American champion. But and another Impaler DDT by the Rated R Superstar. Immediately showing that Savvy going for the pin does not get it. But so far he's had a couple of close pin attempts on Keith Lee. Keith Lee probably hasn't been in the ring with somebody with the Savvy and the know-all. Know-it-all? <laughs> know-how? I don't know what you call it, but Edge has got it. And he's got it in spades. Clubbing blown out by Keith Lee. The power of this man just never ceases to amaze. As Edge is whipped into the rope. Keith Lee drops down. Oh, and both men butt heads, and both are down. Who will get the advantage here? Edge seems to be up about a half a second quicker. And a great suplex there on the North American champion as Edge goes to work, drags his man to the center of the ring. Keith Lee comes right back with a nice solid slam there. Look it up from behind. Edge will have none of that. Oh, something. I don't know what that is, but oh my gosh, it's a straight slam. Two. And he kicked out. Wow, I have no idea what that was, but whatever it was, it was crazy. <laughs> I've never seen words like that come up on the screen before in my life. What a reversal by Edge. And a spear, another spear, immediately going for the pin. Is this enough to keep down the North American champion? No, it is not. Wow. Keith Lee. Withstanding two spears. Now, wow, and a suplex goes, Edge goes right. Just goes butt over tea kettle with the pure power of Keith Lee. And a suplex. Look at Keith Lee just hold them there. And right to the outside, Keith Lee again showing that incredible power as he plays to the crowd while Edge catches his breath. He's gonna take his time. He is a ring veteran, of course. One of the best that we've ever seen. But Keith Lee is really looking to put a star on his resume here with a victory over a Hall of Famer as a nice back suplex by Edge. And look at that again, Keith Lee just holding him there like a sack of potatoes and drops him down for the suplex. Again, the power of this man just never ceases to amaze. But there is another Impaler DDT and Edge again, smartly going right for the pin and gets him! The Rated R Superstar has defeated the North American Champion and will move on. Great matchup there. Wow. What a victory by the Rated R Superstar over Keith Lee. He's got to be a bit disappointed there. One of the rising stars in NXT right now, but he walked into 
one of the best, a Hall of Famer. Edge showing no ring rust, getting him with the implant DDT, sometimes called the Education. And he will be moving on to round two. So group two is now complete. As you can see, Edge for his win today, he will be taking on Volta in round two. What a matchup. That's going to be a heck of a matchup. Let's review our matchup so far for round two. We will have, going right to the top, we have Katsuya Naito losing out to the bruiserweight, Pete Dunne. And he will go on to face Hangman Adam Page in round two. What a matchup that is. And we have Darby Allen again pulling off that incredible upset over the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins. He will go on to face Adam Cole, which should be an incredible, incredible matchup. Adam Cole getting by Samoa Joe in round one. Then we have Sonata pulling off a victory against John Moxley. No easy task, but he got it done. And his reward, he will take on the Japanese legend himself, Kazuchika Okada, in an all-New Japan round two matchup. And finally, we have Volta and Edge meeting in round two. Some great matchups there. But on to group three. And who do we have? We have the New Japan sensational talent, Hiroshi Tanahashi. And who will he be taking on? None other than the American Nightmare, Cody. What a match that is going to be. A heck of a matchup. And you'll see that here live. And you'll see that here. Not really live. But you'll hear. <laughs> you'll see it right here next. <laughs> 